Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be looking at the progress that I've made on our little city here, and realistically, I've spent all my time on this garage. You guys have been so great about giving me suggestions for this thing, and a lot of things that you wanted to see happen with this whole area. Now, we're going to do a town here. I can't guarantee it's going to be huge. Uh, the way Scrap Mechanic works, it's going to start lagging eventually and it's going to become unplayable kind of like the farm bot world did now admittedly the farm bot world did get better and we are going to do some more on that map too i kind of told you guys last time like we were going to do either or but we're actually going to do both i'm happy with the way it's running but i still have that in the back of my head like that thought of well what if this thing crashes or starts to run bad again so I figured we would go ahead and do a world on this map too, so... Anyways, you remember the last episode we had the car dealership here? Pretty fun. I really like designing this building. Well, and actually, I better not say I designed this. I looked at a lot of pictures of car dealerships, and this is what I came up with. Now, there's no cars in here anymore. They've all been moved over to the garage, and I'll go over that here in a second. But I just want to show you guys this. Uh, I'm really happy with the building. I will link the episode below. But like I said, what I've been working on, and hold on, i got to stop myself here. One thing you guys have probably noticed is the whole fact that there is no grass. I thought about it for a long time, and you guys always talk about like wanting roads, and this is the only way I'm going to be able to build roads. Uh, Scrap Mechanics got this crappy thing, and a lot of you already know this, that the grass comes up through the roads or comes up through your blocks and that drives me insane. Like, I wouldn't be able to build roads here. And the only way, there was like two options. I could either turn off the grass or I could build the roads really high. That way it clears this grass, but that's going to be really tall. So I decided we're just going to turn the grass off. I know it doesn't look as good, but it's just going to help me so much here. Like... I'll actually be able to put buildings on that side of the road, like over here. And I wouldn't be able to do that if like, I had this grass on. Because I'd have to build that probably four blocks up. It Just the base itself would have to probably be four blocks up. So we're just going to leave that off for this world. So let's do that. Like this would work. I mean, it works fine like in the post-apocalyptic farm bot world. Because, you know, everything's like run down and overgrown. So... Grass coming up through the floor looks fine, but here it's not going to work. Now, you're going to have to ignore that base over there. That was before I decided to turn off the grass. I was trying to find, like, I'll explain it here in a second because it goes along with the garage. But let's go ahead and go over this. I've gone over this once last episode. Like, I took you through the lobby and showed you all the neat stuff. But really what I did, I extended this whole garage out. Like, you guys have been great. You've suggested tons of things. Like, you want to you wanna get down in here and you want to be able to work on these vehicles, customize them, and just do all sorts of fun things in this garage. I know, I know now that there's quite a few people that download my maps. Uh, I don't use mods. That's really the reason I don't use them is because I know a lot of you guys like to download it and, like, sometimes doing mods causes a lot of confusion. So, I've avoided that completely. So, anyways... You remember these two vehicles from the last episode? This vehicle here was actually from the Well Tool video. This is the whole reason like this got started, was the Well Tool. I started this solid axle here, and then it grew to, like, oh, I need a backdrop for that episode. So I created a small garage that stopped about right there. And then it grew to, all right, let's build a uh, dealership. And then now we're at this point where we have a big garage that's got a lot of stuff in it. And it'll probably grow to, we're going to have, like, a small town or something. So, anyways, let's go in here and check out what we have that is new. Of course, you get these vehicles. I've done a couple things to them. Uh, like, I was missing the back fenders. Or was, no. Actually, I was missing the wheel wheels from the last episode. So, I went in here and corrected those. I haven't really done anything to that vehicle. Like I said, these aren't really complicated vehicles. Like, this one's based off the police SUV, but they're just here to show you guys, like, you know, this is what you can do inside this garage. And the whole fact, like, I can give you a lot of vehicles to start out with, so you have something to go off of and play with. Uh, the new thing in here, I've got this whole lift system, and we'll go over this here in a second. 
Uh, I want to save that for last. But uh, over here, I went over this last episode. You've got a tire rack. You've got the uh, little tire balancers. Uh, this is where you put like the rim and the tire together or put it on the tire. Uh, let's see. Over here, you've got a little engine block hanging. And you've got this diesel bay. Now, I did create another diesel. This is somewhat similar to my diesel tow truck. I'll go over the differences here in a second. But uh, back here, you've got a tool chest. I actually have a couple of those around here. Or toolboxes. Some people call them tool chests. Some people call them toolboxes. But yeah, you've got those. You've got... This is actually like a CNC machine or a Haas CNC machine. If you don't know what one of those are... Like, I'm trying to think of the best way to explain it. What it uses is a high-pressured water jet, and it cuts metal so you can create custom parts. Now, of course, that doesn't do that in Scrap Mechanic. I just really wanted the machine like it, so you would click this button. It opens the doors. You'd put, like, a solid metal block in there, and you would program it into the computer of, like, say I want... You can even, like, create tools. Say I want a, a custom wrench. So you'd program that in, close the doors... And then the little robotic arms would go in there and spray those high-pressure jets out, and they would actually carve the tool. Uh, it's really neat. Those, of course, don't serve a purpose in Scrap Mechanic. I just have these little dancing arms. I just think it looks cool. But let's go ahead and stop that. I guess the next thing we should go over is the truck here. All right, we're going to go over the diesel truck first. Now, this thing is fairly similar to the diesel tow truck that I did uh, probably like 20 episodes ago. But I have made some design changes, the first being the back suspension. It's got a whole like funky design. Like I wanted to create something different, so I've got these three suspension pieces and I've got it connected. Uh I wouldn't say those are axles because they don't even line up the wheels, but I've got those connected below. And they all just kind of work together. Now, I needed to limit the amount of travel that the diesel had in the back. So, I've got these two little arms. And mainly, we've used those on the gas-powered suspension designs. But I decided to go ahead and use it on this. So, what happens when, this, when these arms rock up and down and the tires themselves go up and down? This will travel only one block. So, it'll stop it right there. So, you don't get too much bounce and reason that I did that if I wanted to have like a trailer or something on here uh, for some reason scrap mechanics still got really weird collision physics like the game lags really bad when you have like two objects trying to interact with each other it's even worse in multiplayer like it's it's terrible but I'm trying to limit the amount of movement so maybe that would help the frames it wouldn't lag as bad i don't have a trailer to actually test that out on and maybe we'll create one of those i've got a hitch design that's almost ready for one i, I really just have to hook a controller up to it i'm going to put a little arm that would lock that in but i don't know i'll debate if we're going to actually build one of those or if we're just going to move on to more like buildings and vehicles but anyways i'm going to lay it down here now the one thing this does do let me go ahead and open it you can open up the hood here this hood used to open up more but and actually you can see a little bit of lag when the hood would open up all the way down it would like compress that suspension like really bad it, it would actually like twist it and the game would freak out and lag so i had to limit the amount it came down uh, it actually still probably is kind of twisting it up there but it doesn't look too bad but yeah, you can get in and adjust the engines, the controllers that are here. Um, I've got an electric motor and a gas motor. Reason why I did that, I love the amount of power and torque that the electric motors have, but I like the sound of the gas motor. So I tried to put both in there, and unfortunately, you still can't hear the gas motor. And I figured that the gas motor's sound was going to actually overpower the electric, but it absolutely did not. So it's kind of unfortunate. Let me go ahead and close this. And we can take it around for a quick drive here. Just kind of show you guys how this works. Uh, close the doors. There we go. But yeah, it handles fine. It just drives really good. I probably have a little too much power in it right now. It's probably the back wheels. But you can see the back suspension. Let me see if I can try to keep the camera still here. Yeah, you can see it traveling there. But yeah, 
kind of a fun little vehicle to drive around. And like I said, you guys feel free to download this and customize it and do whatever you want with it. That's one of the reasons that I'm building this whole thing. And that's why I put so much detail into the garage because I want you guys to go in there and use it. So let's go ahead and drive this back into here. There we go. Uh, to get out of this, I do have a roof hatch. Uh, you can either open the door and when you hop out, you'll get stuck in the roof. But if you crouch down, it'll kind of suck you out the right side. But if not, you can just use this. There we go. It's kind of a shame we have to do that, but maybe they can fix that in the future. Let's move on to the lift. All right, we are going to cover the lift here. And this lift is designed for this vehicle and that vehicle. So if you create any vehicles and you want to use that lift, try to keep it about this size. That truck there is not going to go on it. And that diesel for sure isn't going to go on it. Now, I'm a little tempted to try it out. Maybe I, maybe I am wrong. I could be wrong about that. So let's go ahead and jump into this. This vehicle is just kind of a throwaway. I just created something really quick. I wanted another vehicle. Uh, the only thing that looks really goofy is the wheels. Like, Scrap Mechanic only gives you two options. And the small wheels are way too small. And these are probably way too big. But, I don't know. We're kind of limited in what we can do with Scrap Mechanic. I really wish they would add more wheels. But, they haven't for some reason. Now, I know there's mods out there for wheels. But... I'm trying to stay away from those, so hopefully we'll get some new ones in the future. Uh, this car, yeah, you just, it opens up. Really basic, but it was really just to use with the lift. Like, between it and the SUV, those both work extremely well with the lift. Let's go grab the SUV, actually. Alright, we are ready to test this lift out. Like I said, it works on this vehicle. It works on the vehicle to the left there. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work on the truck, even though I could be wrong. And the diesel itself, I, I really highly doubt it works on that. I'm probably going to have to create its own lift for that one. But we might try that out. You never know. Let's go and hop up here. you got to be careful to not drive over it. And you better... Be, ooh, look at that. I almost fell. Let's go ahead and back off this real quick. you got to be really careful not to drop a tire off in the middle part. And like I said, I left it so open that way you can fit a wide range of vehicles in there and still have like enough like have enough room to go under there and actually work so let's go ahead and get out of this now what you do here you're going to hit this left button that's going to close the ramps now if you have a longer vehicle it'll actually push it forward and it'll hit this lip here so i could probably have another i don't know it's up to the lip now eh, probably another block or two wide of a vehicle are not wide long. But yeah. Oh, got stuck over here in the truck. All right, so what we do now, we click this button and it lifts it up. Oh yeah, that, that never gets old watching that lift up. Uh, one thing that I probably could have done was make the back here maybe one block wider, but yeah, that's what you can do. You can go under here. You can work on it. I actually need to adjust this one, make it a bit faster. So you can go to under here. And realistically, like I said, I know that we have this lift tool. Uh, but this is something you guys suggested. Like you wanted to see and like a lift here. So, you know, it's just there for reasons, basically. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to add stuff that you guys would go in here and actually use and play around with. So that's why that's there. Let's go ahead and I'm going to try to put the diesel on it and just see what happens. And oh, I've got to actually lower the ramps first. Let's do that. There we go. All right, let's back off and we're going to try the diesel here. So I just fling the car over to the side. But yeah, comment below. Tell me what you want to see next. Like, I'm really looking forward. Like, this is going to keep me busy for a while. As long as the map holds up itself, like, it doesn't start really lagging. Like, this is going to this is gonna take a while. But uh, let's go ahead and turn this around. I can already tell you this is not going to work, but I'm going to try it anyways. Uh, come on. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to definitely take some of the uh, power out of the back wheels because they seem like they just spin a lot and I just don't I don't have it matched up as good as it should be with the uh 
gas motor that powers the front wheels, but let's see. This is going to be bad. Like, I'm already too long for the lift here. Let's see if I can get as close as possible. There we go. Uh, best thing to do to get out of this one... Let's see if I can actually hit this button. There we go. Get out of the roof. Um, how am I going to close this? I guess the best thing would be to hop up here. And actually, let's hop up on this here. And we'll just hit the button ourselves. There we go. All right, this is probably going to fail miserably because this thing's really heavy. So, I don't know. Let's try it. Actually, you know what? That Maybe that was actually going to work. You know, I might have to extend this roof up even more. I mean, that's if I want to build a diesel lift. I mean, you can always use this, but like, I just wanted to at least have one car lift. Um, Yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, that could go, I can go either way. You know, I can do it or I don't have to do it either way. Let's go ahead and lower that. But yeah, that's going to probably about wrap it up for this episode. Uh, I was, I'm really happy with the way this came out. This has me excited for the other buildings that we're going to do. Now, I talked a little bit about what was happening over here. And I'm probably going to move it over here. I thought about having some sort of paint shop, like a car customization place this is morely a repair shop on this side maybe we'll create or at least like stay somewhat in the theme and do some sort of like paint shop over here i'm not sure i just want to hear from you guys and see what you think so we're going to do that we're going to connect the roads i am going to go back and work on the uh, farmbot world too since that's running good right now uh, i can't guarantee it's going to stay running good i hope it does but that world is already extremely busy, so I'm just kind of waiting for the day that it completely craps out. Uh, the last update did help it. It like it. Well, I say it did, and it didn't help the factory. It helped the outside, like outside of the factory. But that could go either way. I do look forward to doing some multiplayer, but unfortunately, that's kind of broken right now. Uh, you can fix it, but you have to do some stuff that like it's just one of those things like why do we have to do this to play multiplayer like there's some things with resetting like the doors the cars and uh, it's just a real pain so that should be fixed monday but anyways hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you guys next time thank you